Where shall we go? What shall we choose? Whatever we do, there's no time to lose. Let's turn the big spinner and I'll say the rhyme. What's gonna happen today on Showtime? Showtime, showtime, showtime. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hello! Welcome to Showtime! My name's Shona. I wonder where we will be heading today. Will we be outside? Inside? Will we be getting messy with arts and crafts? Or will we be dancing? There's only one way to find out. Let's spin the wheel and see where we will be going. Where shall we go? What shall we choose? Whatever we do, there's no time to lose. Let's turn the big spinner and all say the rhyme. What's going to happen today on Showtime? Move time! Energy bubbles. Energy. Energy bubbles, because well, we all need a bit of energy. Yes. Re energy releases a lot of good stress and bad stress as well. I see. So okay. It just makes you feel really nice, makes you feel nice and tall and fresh and light and just really fabulous. Ready to go. Yeah. So why do people do it then? Why would someone come to you and do yoga? Well, maybe some people, maybe, maybe there's lots of people that do you know, football. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's kids that do some dancing. Yeah. Or maybe they're a little bit stiff. <laughs> So they come just to just to get their body moving and, up. and take big deep breaths as well because you need to fill your, your lungs are like big balloons. Mm -hmm. So what we try and do is we try and just blow them up really big and breathe and breathe ah, and just feel great. This I can't wait to get started. So should we go and do some yoga? Let's do it. I'm up got, for it. We've got some kids that are going to join in as well, haven't we? Okay. Is everyone ready to do some yoga? Let's go and see. Yay! with their bodies. So I've come here to the zoo to have a look at the animals. But it says that Poa the elephant lives here. But I can't see an elephant, can you? Poa! 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 Hmm. 
I'm so glad that Poa made it back to the zoo just on time. So we're now going to try some of our animal yoga moves. So you need to find a space. You could use your living room floor or your bedroom floor. I'm using the Showtime Studio because there's lots of space. It's nice and big. Take your shoes and socks off as well so you can really move your feet. So the first thing we do when we start yoga is we say the magic yoga word. And that is Namaste. Are we ready? Put your hands together by your chest and we're going to say the magic word namaste three two one namaste we're now ready to start our yoga the first animal we're going to do is we're going to be like poa the elephant you need to put your hand behind your back and one arm next to your nose we're going to pretend that this is the elephant's trunk lean forward and you're going to swing your trunk like an elephant swing your trunk like an elephant. Swing your trunk like an elephant. And change arms. Swing your trunk like an elephant. Swing your trunk like an elephant. Okay, from elephant, we're gonna go down to the floor and be a scary lion. So go down to the floor, put your hands on the floor and your knees on the floor. And first of all, we're gonna roar like a lion as loud as you can, are we ready? Three, two, one, roar! And now we're gonna stretch like a lion. You're gonna pull your tummy up towards the ceiling and then you're gonna pull your tummy down. Pull your tummy up towards the ceiling and pull your tummy down. And pull it up and down. We're stretching like a lion. And one more roar. Roar! So once we've done our lion, we're now going to be a camel. Now a camel has got a big hump on its back. So we're going to make the, the camel's hump using our bottoms. So put your hands on the floor and your feet flat on the floor and your bottom is going to be nice and high in the air and it's going to be the camel's hump. So you need to breathe in and out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. It's really important in yoga that you breathe as you're doing all of these wonderful animal stretches. So let's walk our camel's feet in and stretch up nice and tall. We're now going to be a starfish. So stretch your hands out and your feet out nice and big and we're going to be a starfish. It's really nice to stretch, isn't it? It feels really good. Now we're going to go down nice and small and be a crab. So take your hands and wrap your hands next to your ankles and holding onto your feet down nice and low like a crab and move from side to side because crabs move from side to side. Move from side to side like a crab. Side to side like a crab. So from our crab we're going to be a seal. So to be a seal, you need to lie flat on your tummy. So lie flat on your tummy and then push your hands up. 
So you're nice and tall and lift your chin up as well. We're going to be a nice seal. I really like this stretch. It feels really nice. It feels lovely. Remember to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So there's lots and lots of animal stretches that you can do. So have a think what animals that you really like and see if you can change your body and make it an animal yoga pose. Did you hear that? You know what that means? Time is up, we have to go. I hope you've had fun and enjoyed the show. See you next time to say the rhyme and spin again for more Showtime. Bye.